Whether it is myself, my family, my friends, or my neighbors, I am discovering that God is always reaching out and He is always inviting me to participate," said a young man named Chad. Chad grew up in a Christian home, but he thought he couldn't measure up, so he began looking at other religions. He said he found them all to be hollow and without purpose. A family member invited him to go to church again, and it was there that the Lord called his name. Well, just like Chad, Christy was drawn to the Lord by a simple invitation to church. For months, Greg and Brittany built a relationship with her. Greg and Brittany's four-year-old son would even share what he had been learning at church with Christy. The family invited her to an Easter service, and she came with them and accepted Jesus as her Savior. Now she invites people to do the same by sharing the gospel every chance that she gets. You see, it all started with a simple invitation to church. Even though Chad's family knew that he had been raised in church, they still reached out. Praise God for faithful Christians who obey God's call. How can you obey God's call to witness? Well, be open for opportunities to speak the gospel truth and love. We should do everything that we can that will allow us to have these opportunities to share the gospel. And this can mean inviting someone to church, like Chad's family member did, building relationships like Greg and Brittany did, and having gospel-centered conversations. You may just be the invitation that they're waiting for. We want to help you to love your neighbors by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. This is our focus this week in Evangelism Explosion through all of our social media channels and our daily broadcast. You can visit sharelife.today for resources to help you share the gospel with your neighbor, whoever they may be. May God richly bless you this week as you look for ways to love your neighbors and bring them to the Lord.